everyone so today I thought I'd do a US haul so basically it's been like few days now since I've come back from America and I had the best time ever. Me and my boyfriend went and we went to Orlando in Florida and did all the parks and everything, you know, like Disney and we did all the works and um, I thought I would do a haul video because I picked a few bits up while I was there, some stuff from Disney and got some stuff from Sephora, Bath and Body Works and then a few random bits as well so I thought I'd show you them today so but I think this is going to be quite long so I'll crack on right now. <laughs> so from Disney, I will show you the least interest. I don't know if these are kind of interesting. I haven't tried these yet and I picked these up because I kept seeing them everywhere and like because it's Halloween, it's autumn, pumpkin spice is such a popular favour. So I picked up these pumpkin spice pretzels and they're in the shape, are they in the shape of Mickey? They look like they was but they got a bit crushed in the suitcase so I got them. I also picked up some milk chocolate Mickey pretzels. I haven't opened these either yet, so I probably will after I film this to be honest, not gonna lie, but these look good as well. I picked up from one of the Disney stores, like I've seen loads of people with this, and I got my mum one as well, and it's so cute. So if you like Beauty and the Beast and you like drinking lots of tea, just look how cute this is. So yeah, I got this. Um, as I was going to keep it for display purposes only, but I probably will end up drinking out of it because, you know, why not? It's so cute. Um, Jack Skeleton is like one of my favourite Disney characters, like he's so cool. Um, for Christmas, I went into the Disney Christmas shop and it was so cool in there, it's amazing. Like, it's very expensive though for like the small ornaments, like Christmas tree decorations, it's like... Yeah, it's really overpriced, I'm not going to lie, but when you're there and you're on holiday, you're like, oh, sod it, I'll get it. And I kept looking at all the different uh, Nightmare Before Christmas um, decorations, so I picked up in the end Little Jack Skeleton to go on the Christmas tree this year, and I think he's wicked. He was like $25, that's ridiculous, I know, but just in the spur of the moment. This is when I went back for it as well, like, I was just like, I need him, I need him, I want to get him, so he looks so... He was going to look so cool. He's going to have to stay around the front of the Christmas tree this year, that's for sure. I also got from the Disney shop, it was, I love blankets and I love being cuddly in the winter and that. And I like Jack Skeleton. So, I got, you can, obviously it's massive, this Jack Skeleton blanket. And it's so nice, it's so soft. Very pricey for, you know, your standard blanket. I think this is actually like labelled as a fro, but it is pretty much a blanket as well, so. Also from Disney, the Disney shops, I got two pens because I thought, oh, I get, I'll get a couple of pens for work. I've left them at work and I thought that I was gonna film this today. So I will insert a cutaway right now just so you can see them and see what they look like. I've got a Pluto pen and I've got a Jack Skeleton pen. You know, your daily essentials, especially when you're right at work. It makes it seem a little bit better, doesn't it? And um, you can't visit Universal Studios and Harry Potter, like the Harry Potter area, Diagon Alley and Hogsmeade, without picking up... Okay, it's, it got really battered, by the way. But, you know, your chocolate frog. <laughs> the I was so sad when I got back. I have opened it. I've not eaten the frog yet, but the packaging got quite battered on the way back it's like dinted in um in my suitcase which is sad but basically you get a, it's a quite big frog and it's solid chocolate and then you get your wizard card and i've got salazar slivering it's really cool <laughs> so yeah it's just something that you know i just felt like i couldn't leave that area and not get one of them along with these as well so i picked up the Bertie box every flavor b me and my family have had a laugh with these like I, we've only had a few but like you don't know what you're gonna get i mean some of the flavors are like earthworm dirt vomit rotten egg <laughs> and then it's accompanied with some nice ones so like cherry candy floss cinnamon some nice ones as well so it's quite funny to like pick one each and be like what you got <laughs> so yeah got them and I also me and Ryan were like like Ryan was so undecided on whether to get a wand or not he really wanted one and he was like do I pay that price and I was like he had two that he wanted and I was like oh, it'd be so cool to get one so I was like tell you what you get one I'll get the other and we'll get one so it's so sad the packaging has been like it's got a bit battered again but it comes in Ollivander's uh, bag which is really nice which is a bit squashed now and it comes in a lovely box which is also a tiny bit squash, which is sad. I got Voldemort's wand, so 
this is really cool and i thought this was so cool to get um i just like what, to be fair the detail on these are really really good they're like you could get an interactive wand as well like that was obviously a lot more pricey it was a cool concept like for kids and that like if you spent that bit more on the interactive ones you could use them around the areas in the harry potter areas basically you get given a map and then you could go up to the areas and cast spells and i thought that was really cool but this was towards the end of the holiday we finally decided to get these but when we got them both out of the box we were like do we get the interactive one do we get the normal ones and these felt a lot more realistic do you know what i mean like obviously the interactive ones had like a bit of plastic in the end they felt a lot lighter and like more fake, do you know what I mean? This, these are a lot heavier, and so we ended up going for the cheaper option, but it felt we weren't gonna end up getting the most use out of the interactive ones anyway, so. Nice little memory to have, like, to look back on. I'm gonna have to like, have this on display as well. And uh, Ryan got serious flax in the end. It was between that and Voldemort, so I ended up getting Voldemort, so. Yeah, really chuffed with these. So that's, I did get like, I got some more bits and bobs, like I got my dad some duff pajama bottoms, and I got him, some Back to the Future magazines, I got my sister some bits from Despicable Me and my brother some bit. Like I got gifts and that as well but I'm not going to show everything because we'll be here forever so I'm just showing you the main things that I got and that I'm using for myself and stuff because I did get quite a lot of gifts for people as well so I won't go into all of them as well. So next, um, when we went to Disney Springs, that was the day we went to, we went to the premium outlets and then in the evening we went to Disney Springs so it's quite more of a shopping day and like eating out and stuff so we went into zara and i wasn't expecting to buy anything from zara because i was like we have a zara here i know like i look online but i looked in the shop and i saw that i saw it at the corner of my eye and then i looked at it with ryan and i was like wow look at that denim jacket i was like that's insane i was like the color of it i was like it's got a fur collar that's so me oh so i had to like so i tried it on i was like i need that i need it i think right this is the back of it I'll show you that's the back of it like it looks so random but and then you hold it up at the front it's got the fur collar here it's like a light washed blue denim and i think on this side it's just got some more details here it's all of it random i think there's like squiggles on the back when it says moon i don't know i just really liked how like artistic it looked and like i just loved everything about it and i just thought wow i've not seen a denim jacket like that at all like not not anywhere near here anyway like um and i've wanted a denim jacket and i've just been seeing i like the light wash blue color and i've just seen plain ones and they're quite pricey and this is pricey like quite a pricey but for what it is it's a lot it's different and it's very me so i was really happy to get that i think you get on zara here for like 60 or 70 pounds i'm going to start with the few things that i got from bath and body works i'll start with candles so picked up pumpkin peak and waffles and it has the lovely pumpkin halloween detailed lid it's so good i'm just gonna smell it because even though you can't smell it but it does smell of like waffly sweet sugared sweet vanilla-y goodness <laughs> i don't know how to explain the smell it's a really it's a sweet one it's really nice and it smells right i lit mine in my bedroom i had it lit for a, a, an hour and a half or so or two hours maybe quite quite a while and then i had the door shut and i, I blew it out the next morning you could still smell it like the smell just lingers for so long it's so good and then i got this one caramel pumpkin swirl and this one it smells it's again a really sweet kind of sickly scent but the caramel really comes through on this one so it's kind of not similarish to the other one but it is in a way you can have like vanillary scents the sugariness but the caramel comes through really strong with this like it's really good and so yeah and again this one's got like another detail and of the pumpkin on top i think these are really nice i think these are like 22 dollars 22.50 something like that so wish we had one here <laughs> so not fair why can't we have a bath and body works in the uk and then i did take two trips to bath and body works because i only got a few things when i first went and then when we went back i was like yeah, i'm gonna get some more so i got the marshmallow pumpkin latte shower gel and this smells like heaven like like marshmallowy pumpkin-y vanilla-y goodness and then i got 
I picked up the body cream as well, which is the same scent, so I could just smell amazing. And then um, I've got a few more body creams. I got the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, and this smells, it's still sweet like the others, but not as sickly, if you know what I mean. Not going to go into detail on how I'm going to describe that even further. So, not as sickly, but still sweet. And this one is Pumpkin Cupcake. It's more vanil vanillary sweetness. I don't know, like, I'm not very good at describing scents. It's again sweet. It says Keynote, Spiced Pumpkin, Toasted Pecan, Vanilla bu vanilla Buttercream. That's what it smells like. Orange Zest and Cinnamon Swirl. Yeah. And then I picked up a Salted Caramel Pumpkin Body Lotion. So, it kind of smells like the previous candle that I showed. Um, yeah kind of a little bit different but very similar and it says on the keynotes salted caramel harvest pumpkin maple syrup sugared woods and fluffy musk that's what it smells like it's really nice and then i picked up the sweet cinnamon pumpkin hand soap and i really wish i picked up more of these now it was really nice again it's kind of sweet but not as sweet as the others but it's really nice they have like they did have about can get six of these for twenty four dollars, I think, or twenty dollars. And I should have done that now, but I was really pushing it with like getting my case together. So, and then I did pick up quite a few hand sanitizers because you know then pocket back sanitizers everyone goes crazy for. I picked up pumpkin patch. I picked up ninja bread man. I picked up vampire blood. Uh, marshmallow pumpkin latte I got two of them I think yeah I picked up two of them because that smelled amazing it's the same as that body look body cream and the shower gel I got and then I got warm vanilla sugar that smells really good and I did get from Bath and Body Works a oh there's another one here feast mode sweet cinnamon pumpkin oh, there you go sweet that's the same as the hand um the hand soap I did get another one, it's a kind of Christmassy one but it's on my desk at work and I also got a hand cream which was called Autumn Day I think and that was also on my desk at work so I will have to insert a cutaway right now so you can just see them. But again they're really, they're really nice, Every, everything from that shop smells amazing, that's the first time I've ever visited there and I thought is it going to be overhyped? No smells so good I'm literally in love and I wish I could buy some more stuff right now the day we went to Disney Springs we went into Sephora and Ryan ended up going sitting outside um I was just walking around everywhere and I thought right I've seen this quite a lot on the internet and I thought right I'm gonna get this because it looks amazing um it's the Too Faced Grand Grande Hotel Cafe and right you lift off the roof it's so cute and you lift out and it's like in a little cafe it's so cute and you get three palettes and a mini Too, Fa Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara which I think I've put away actually um but <clears throat> yes yeah, so you get the mini mascara and then you get the gingerbread cookie palette they're all scented by the way and this is what you get in here so pretty and it smells really nice so you get a bronzer and you get a lovely selection of eyeshadows. That's in the first one. You also get peppermint mocha. And you get a lovely blush and also a selection of shadows as well. And that smells like peppermint. It smells really good. Like candy canes. These would be perfect for Christmas. There's so many like pretty like purpley and golden shades. And this is eggnog latte. And again, you've got another nice blush and selection of eyeshadows there. So, yeah, I picked that up. I think that was like $48 to $50, can't remember. So you get three palettes, um, a mini mascara, and the packaging is really, really nice. So you can keep this on display like I have. Just put it back on together with the little room. I also picked up the new Naked palette that people are raving about at the minute. Um, I thought, right, let's let's have a look at this. The packaging is so nice for this. Um, I thought it'd feel a lot heavier, I'm not gonna lie. And I don't know why I was expecting it to not feel like cheap. It feels not cheaper though. Like the packaging looks so amazing, but then when you pick it up, it doesn't feel as luxury. I don't know if that's just me being picky, but I don't know, I just thought it'd feel different than like a plastic, I don't know. 
that's probably just me but nevertheless got a massive mirror inside which is amazing and you've got two four six eight ten, twelve shadows they're all matte and yeah they're just all really wearable we've got a little brush in there as well with it just really wearable colors so i'm really excited to try this i've used a couple of the shades already i've used tempted and instinct which are these nice pinky pinky muted colors there um so yeah excited to try this even further that was like 53 dollars i think off the top of my head don't quote me i think it was around there it's around 50 marks so um picked up a Kat Von D duo I've never tried any of Kat Von D's liquid lipsticks so I thought I was looking at the colours and I was like I don't know what to go for and I saw a duo with two mini liquid lipsticks in it I thought oh, I'll get that was about, I think it was $19 you get it and it comes in some lovely black tissue paper and I got these two lovely shades in it and I thought that was a good way of like trying them for the first time I've used the purple one at the minute which is called Suspiria and the other one I can't pronounce these. Sorry if these are pronounced wrong. Malop Malop I'm not even gonna try. Malong Melancholia. That is probably really really wrong. Anyway, it's like a nice light pink and a nice bright purple. And yeah, these are really pretty. Um quite drying as you get as most uh, liquid lipsticks are. Um, the purple one I did have to reapply after about four hours of wearing it. I had something to eat and drink and it started to wear off on the insides and the corners a little bit but then again a lot of liquid lipsticks do that. Um, I don't know if that, I don't know, I just thought that was kind of standard something to happen. Packaging's really nice, really nice product. It did last okay. I haven't tried the other one yet so excited to try that. I also picked up, this is something that's been hyped about for a long time, people have had it for ages, I thought oh, I'm finally going to grab it and it's the Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Highlighter, so I'm really happy to finally finally be the proud owner of this, um, and it is literally a champagne coloured highlighter, and I have worn this a couple of times already now, it's got a nice mirror in it, and it just gives that lovely champagne pop as the name might suggest but really happy with this it's really nice kind of pricey but that's on holiday so I've got to treat myself the final thing I picked up from Sephora was the Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick in the shade Child Star and this is your basic nude I love the packaging on these ones. I prefer them to them the squeezy ones with the little spongy bit at the end. So it's an actual like glass lid now, glass bottle with a little thing on the end. These smell really good. So yeah, it's a liquefied matte lipstick. I've tried this one a couple of times now, and it's quite long lasting to be honest. Um, it lasted longer than the Kat Von D one. Um, this was about $20, somewhere around there, somewhere around that mark. But it's a really pretty pinky nude and I really like this and I'll probably end up trying more of the Too Faced liquid lipsticks in the future. We nipped into Calvin Klein and I thought, oh, I might as well buy another set of the standard like comfort top and bottoms because I have a grey pair and they're just literally the comfiest things to wear ever. So I got a black pair and yeah, so that's great. We went into the Victoria's Secret outlet and I didn't really have an intention to buy anything from there because there wasn't anything like obviously in most shops there's nothing that you need but I don't know it was just it was quite hectic in there it was a bit not too jumble sailor but it was a bit of a free-for-all so I was looking at the pink jumpers and I don't know a lot of the pink jumpers I see people wear and I'm like that's really nice and I never see any nice ones they're all quite like out there they're quite bright and like too much sequin and it's like I don't want to pay that money for what it is but then I saw one and it was so pretty so I thought gotta find it because it was the wrong size and it had been randomly put on top of something I was like I need to find this so I went walking around the shop and I found this so it's just your standard like pink jumper it's got not literally pink but you know Victoria's Secret pink um, it's got the white on the top and it's got pink written around here and then the black sleeves and up top here it's got like pink 
and then it says it's got grey at the bottom and on the back it says Miami and it's sequinedy but it's not too much sequin that's what I don't like when it's too much there but yeah so I thought that was really nice it's quite oversized it's long so you can get away wearing it some leggings it's really comfy and so I was really chuffed with that so I picked that up I got a few bits and bobs for my sister and my mum some sprays and some bits and bobs like that um they've got them now so I won't bother showing you them and then I picked up this um this is bra that was it was really nice there's, again there wasn't many that I liked this was just looked really comfy and so yeah I picked that up and then we went to Forever 21 um didn't have any intention on buying anything as such I was just having a look around and then I saw all these really pretty bralettes and I was like wow need them they look comfy and so picked up a few I got six one I'm wearing now so obviously it won't show show you um got like silky pink bralette got a nice white thin laced one that ties up at the back got a nice black laced one there have a nude one which is plain and i've got a nice green one with some flowers on it as well they were just they were all about eight dollars each ten eight to ten dollars each and i thought I'll grab a few. The, a lot of them I didn't have my size, but I grabbed the ones that I could find. And the last thing that I picked up when I was away was um, kind of random. I, you probably can get these here. Um, basically, my favourite drink around this time is pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks. It's so good. I literally love it. I could not get enough of it. Um, the closest, what, where I live, the closest Starbucks to us is about an hour's drive away which is not good, not good at all. So when we were at our hotel, we had a Starbucks in our hotel, which was great. I had a pumpkin spice latte quite a lot. And um, I saw these, I got two of them. I just grabbed two of them before I left because I was pushing it for like um, the size of my suitcase and weight and trying to squish it in. <laughs> so I grabbed two of them and they're the Starbucks via instant latte the pumpkin spice latte flavour so they're just the instant ones so you mix it with water and I wasn't sure if it was going to taste exactly the same as how they do it in the shop it does it's, it tastes great uh, I think these are about six dollars each you get four in each one which isn't enough for me please let me know if you can buy these in the shop or online I haven't looked online I'm too lazy I probably you know you probably can and you probably can get them in the Starbucks in the UK in the shops but I don't have uh, it's an hour away so I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna end up going to Lincoln to find out if they do so just let me know and if they do that's great because I need to stock up or I'll probably just order some more online but yeah these are great for now so I picked them up and that is everything that I picked up while I was away again I got some more stuff which are gifts for people but I'm not going to show them right now um I had an amazing holiday it was so good and yeah I got quite a few things I'm really impressed with Bath and Body Works I really wish they had one here in the UK so sad that they don't but yeah hope you enjoyed watching this rambly haul and seeing what I picked up and bought um had a great time I'm sad to be back and it's so freaking cold why is it so cold here I don't like it so I'm gonna have to get some more jumpers and stuff ready for proper hardcore winter but yeah so hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Bye.